Hey folks, welcome back to this video which is part 3 of our aggregation project where we're going to see if we can do a query and not only retrieve the aggregated values but also the individual values that made up that total. So just to recap, my indexer is still running here. Let me just stop this. What we've done is we've got two entities here. We've got our staking reward, which will show us the individual staked amount. We've got our sum reward, which will give us our total amount. But our main goal here is to see if we can combine both of them together so that when I do query for my total reward, I can further extract the individual rewards that made up this total. So to do this, we have to go back and remember the lesson on entity relationships. Because what I want to do here is actually take the account field and change it from a string and make it of type sum reward. So what this does is it's going to make it a one to many relationship where my sum reward will have one or more staking rewards. And this makes sense, right? Because our sum reward, our total, is going to have one or many individual rewards. So I make this one small change here. And I also have to go into my mapping handler and go ahead and make another change in my staking reward, this line here. Let me generate the code first of all so you can see that the red line has appeared because once I've generated the code if I do dot you'll see account ID appears so this is an automatic field that gets created for me because it knows that this account ID is going to be the the reference between this table here the staking reward and the sum reward so that's where the link between the two tables will occur. So with this one minor change, let's go ahead and rebuild the code. And because we have changed the schema file, I'll go ahead and delete the database once again and re-index from scratch. And then I will run the docker compose up command. And here, you can see that I've got an error where my staking reward violates a foreign key constraint. Now let me stop this. Now the reason for this is that the order in the manifest file actually matters. So I need to go ahead and swap the order here, like so, because some rewarded, which is this, has to come first. The reason being is that when I'm referring to an entity account ID, that may not exist if I'm running this code first. So let's go ahead and run this. And here you can see that I'm starting to index blocks. So just a quick recap that the order in the project YAML or the manifest file does matter because previously, I was executing this handler first, which was handle staking rewarded. If that executed first, then this piece of code would error because it's trying to assign the account value to an account ID, which actually relates to the sum rewarded. So now let's jump into the playground and we'll do a sample query. Let's run this. So our existing one still works. But what I want to do is run this query here. Now, this query is quite exact because what I've done is I've gone to an address here and I filtered on this to show you that there is one occurrence at block height 7 million and 64 where the balance is 0.2 dot and the total reward is the same. But what happens is that there's another reward that's been received at around block height 7 million and 13,000. So if we wait a few minutes and index to that block height, 
we should see two entries of a balance and the total reward be the summation of them both. And if you're wondering how I came up with this query, the documentation is very useful because we're traversing some reward, our nodes, and of course the total reward and the ID. But what's new is this field down here, staking rewards by account ID. This has appeared due to adding in our schema file the account field making it of type sum reward. So you can see here that we are at block 7 million and 2,000. So I'll let this run to about 7 million and 13,000 and then rerun this to show you the result. All right, we're at block height around 7 million and 14,000. So let's jump back into our playground. I'll run the query again. And there you go. You can see that there was another transaction or a reward paid at 7 million 13,941. These two balances down here, these staking rewards should add up to the total reward number up above. So this particular query here, the improvements that we made makes it a lot clearer and more useful in that we can understand the individual balances that make up the total reward. Now the final part of this particular project is we'll go ahead in the next video and take a look at the differences between reward and rewarded.